The, the, the major event is to testify. Go on your laptop, computers, and register at um, nyirc.gov. nyirc.gov. Just make a note of it, please. nyirc.gov. And for that dot .gov, that is where we're going to be having our, um, our live testimony given to the Independent Resist Redistricting Commission that we want a fair district. We'll be telling them that we want a district. Um, come and come, please. Stand on the side here. Um, we have our brothers, uh, brother and sister here, Mr. Ruben Koshial, a very fighting person in this community. Welcome, brother. And his wife, come in, please. How are you, Mrs. Koshial? Please join us. And um, hold this, please. This is the map that we're fighting for. Come in, come into the picture. That we have fair redistricting, that uh, we have a community of interest. As you know, they gave us little Guyana um, here, but designated by law to be a compact, contiguous political district. However, we need to have it in our legislature so we can have funding, so we can get the benefit of this as uh, as a common a community of common heritage, common values that has uh, resources of our own. Now, the COVID taught us that lesson. There was not a single elected official who came here with any masks, any kind of help, any kind of assistance. A lot of people died, a lot of people died without any kind of um, help. And we had the highest rate of COVID. That is to show you that this is an underserved neighborhood. This is a, a, a neighborhood and a community that doesn't get its fair share of resources. We don't get any support from any, any, anyone. We don't get any help, we don't go on public assistance because historically we see that as taboo. And however, our people are very hard working. We work the hard jobs. We're the essential workers of this economy. We're the engine that keeps this, uh, in, this Queens County, Manhattan, and so forth going. We are the babysitters, we are the truck drivers, we are the bus drivers, we are the security guards, we are the people who do the menial tasks, we are the people who work just below minimum wage sometimes. We are the immigrants who come and strengthen this nation of immigrants and make it prouder and bigger and better. And that is why we need to have a representation, we need to have a seat at the table of government. And we don't have any, because we've been ostracized, we've been marginalized, and this is the problem here. This is the fourth decade. For 40 years now, we have been fighting this issue. We have been fighting this issue here of having a fair district, of having Woodhaven here, Belt Parkway, the natural boundaries, also the Van Wyck Expressway, and also Hillside. And we don't have that, and because of that, they have divided us into four districts. You have Assembly District 38 that is divided. Come please, brother. We're live on Facebook. So we want you to just bring three of those things, please. Three of the posters. Take out three the posters, please, and give one each and come over here. Let's come down a little bit so we can accommodate our brother. Uh, Danisar is here, and um, he's here to support us. A lot of our people came. Um, a lot of them came, and also we had a little confusion because they said they, they moved it to Chaya. They moved the press conference, and they didn't tell us. So we apologize for that. Uh, there was a miscommunication. Come, yeah, bring some more. And hence, we, uh, we're sorry about that. However, we're here. The main issue is to stay, stay together, stay united, uh, right, Fayouz, and also to make sure we testify. That's where it happens. Not here or Chai or anybody else. It happens at the Independent Redistricting Commission this afternoon. Go at IR, the, uh, uh, NY, nyirc.gov. Register there, and you can still be able to testify for three minutes and submit your maps. There's also on my Facebook. You will see the maps and the talking point. Just tell them the same thing that I'm telling you. That we are divided into four. This is not America. This is our. Can you get all of us, please? You're talking about apartheid now. We're talking about South Africa, where you have four districts. You're talking about having a colony, divide and rule. We don't want that. Here we have Assembly District 38. One assembly member is here. They go to, go to Glendale. They're overpowered by Woodhaven. We don't get anything coming to the Guyanese and, and South Asians living here. Then you have 8024, which is David Weprin. He doesn't even show his face in this community. He's all the way out to the, to the, uh, to the Long Island Expressway. So people like Bellrose and so forth, they get all the funding there. Then you have 8024, the one who goes all the way to the Rockaway. There are many folks in Rockaway. They, they overpower us here. Richard David ran for this district, but he couldn't win, although he had all the endorsements because we didn't have the numbers. They divide our district. If we have one candidate, I ran for 24, I won every ED here. I won every single election district in this area so that goes to show the power similarly like david so we need a common compact friendly district that is we can call our own they gave us a sign little guy in proudly as part of the city law why is there a law of the new york state legislature so we can make the wall a public holiday we can have halal in our schools we can have our madars we can have funding we can have the police stop harassing um 
masjids, we could have uh, religious schools, we could have just about better hospitals, better health care, not another COVID where most of our people, Fayouz sits on Community Board 10, it's been very helpful in here. Thank you very much, Fayouz, and um, please take it over, brother. Yeah, thank you, Albert. What Albert said, I concurred with. For too long, we have been segmented, chopping the pieces whereby our voices are not as effective as it should be. And Albert pointed out that the only way to give us a silver voice is to have a unified district. South Asian, Indo-Caribbean, we have Latinos also, we have African-American part of our community. And the time has come now uh, for us to be heard and give representation beyond just lip services. Our schools are neglected, our libraries are neglected, we are really dense. We are really dense. Transportation is not as effective as it should be. Our police precincts are not too responsive to us. So by having representation, those issues will be addressed fully and competently. And I encourage you, as Albert pointed out, that today at 2 o'clock, uh, testimony will be given to the commission in terms of redistricting it. Take advantage of it. Go online, register, and have your voice heard. Okay, and now we'll um, ask Mr. Kushiel here, Mr. Ruben Kushiel. He's been very active. Yeah, and very alert and he's been helping in democracy wherever it may be in Guyana and here. He's always stood up for the underdog, he's always stood up for those who've been oppressed. And Mr. Ruben Kushiel is also president of the Guyana Solidarity, Guyana Solidarity Movement and is here to stand in solidarity with us and this cause. So go ahead Ruben. You can take off the mask. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just to reiterate what the two brothers have already uh, mentioned. Uh, for too long we have not been given the representation that we really need in this area, the section of Queens, the community has been segregated and we need one compact area where we will have the right representation. Thank and you. now we have Brother Danisar, we call him Lord Danisar, he's a well outspoken and a very articulate man, he represents this community at many events. This is Brother Danisar. Please Danisar, tell him what you think about this redistricting. Well I want to thank everybody for listening. I want the people to know around the world, the communities, that we are fighting for the development of not only our own communities, but we want your communities to also be developed. But we are beginning here with Richmond Hill area, as he is Mr. Baldeo, the youngest magistrate in the whole world. He is the man whom have authorized me with that version of talk that I am Lord Danisar, and as such, this voice will go through to every ear, and every ear will subdue and respond to what we are about, because we are the people's progressive people all over the world. So I want to thank you very much for listening, Lord Dennis Hart. And also Mrs. Kusial is here, and she's part of the staff, the part of our community, very uh, active member also. And she also knows that the women and the children of our community have, don't have a common school, they don't have the common resources, we don't even have a senior center. So, um, Mrs. Kushial, please. I do support what you right, guys thank are you. fighting Right, thank you. And you're talking about the district here of Jamaica Hillside Avenue. Very easy. This is Woodhaven. These are natural boundaries. These are divine boundaries. Then you have the Belt Parkway and you have the Van Wyck Expressway, which is a natural divide. So why do you have us in four? How can four people be died? How can a one district? And then I got a little piece say going to another assemblyman, another assembly member. I didn't even put it on the map. We got like four or five blocks. This is a curse. This is gerrymandering at its worst. This is South Africa. This is apartheid. This is deprivation of democracy. This is the worst thing you can have. And here you have District 38 take a quarter, District 24 take another quarter, District 22 take another quarter and carry it all the way to Howard Beach. And I'm not against Howard Beach, don't get me wrong, they have their own representation too. They, they, everyone here deserves representation in America. But you cannot separate one community and make it a piece of pie and, uh, and marginalize it. This is exactly what's happening here. And 8031 now, it goes all the way to Rockaway. Do you think we have anything in common? Rochdale Village, the largest co-op in the world, and we have one and two family homes, and we're losing our home from foreclosure because we don't get a rent benefit, we don't get a help, we don't get a help on the uh, foreclosure um, relief for our, our uh, foreclosed homes or cars or vehicles. This community is hurting. It's dying. We've had 20% COVID rate. How can they turn their backs on us? How can the governor, the mayor, or anyone else with a conscience turn their backs on this community? It's not like we were here yesterday. We came and built this from nothing. It was dilapidated, checked the New York Times and the Washington Post. They've talked of it being a rundown, nothing. And we built it up. Look at this library here. We need to have another block. 
Our kids must have the same chances of success like other kids. We must have a specialized high school here. We must have more schools. You have two Richmond, Illinois and um, Richmond High Schools. They're in trailer parks. They are failing. They close them and try to close them every year and blame the kids. But if you don't have enough certified teachers and laptops and uh, computers and the right equipment, you are bringing a cycle of poverty where our kids continue to be deprived. Our kids continue to be the lower levels of society. They cannot aspire to reach their natural potential. So all of this here, look at the terms West Indian, Guyana. When you Google this map, you will see Guyana. You have all these things here that, that Guyanese support and South Asian resorts world. That's a behemoth. Look at the um, JFK airport. We don't get jobs there. We don't get any jobs at Resorts World. We don't get any benefits. And yet these things suck from us. They, they, they feed upon us. So where is our, um, where is our uh, compensation here? Where, if this is democracy, no taxation without representation, then where is our stake in this? We can move from this and go and live some other place in Timbuktu. We live in a dying America. We are proud Americans. We have built this nation of immigrants. So you can't exclude us and others like us where we have the numbers here. We have over 200,000 people here who live. Guyanese, South Asians, Trinidadians, uh, uh, Bangladeshis, and uh, uh, Indians, and, and everyone. Proud immigrants who stand together, worship together, have a common heritage, have a common issues, and would be able to, uh, to be able to build and to make sure that this become a thriving community this becomes a very um, a community that is self-sufficient, that we can get funding for our kids, our senior centers, and our schools. Even cricket grounds, you can't get it. You go and play, you get problems, you know? And this is the problem. And I see here a very prominent real estate broker, Josh. Please come here and say something. Um, give him one of the maps, please. This is our brother, Josh. He's always been with us. And um, I'll actually say something about what you feel about real estate and how we buy one of two family homes. We don't rent places. And hence, this district is one of two family homes and deserve our own representation. Yeah, we need a representation, we need the local people because we don't want to put an economic uh, engine, stigma, yeah. engine in this community. And the local so, economy. So we need, we need somebody locally to represent us in this, this area. We've been struggling for a while and, and we've spent 40 years money, now. And we're paying the taxes and we stimulate the growth. We did a lot for the city, but we're not getting the money. Correct. The city itself gave us Little Guyana. Yeah. So if the mayor came here, right here he stood and signed into law that this is Little Guyana. That how is it we can get our Little Guyana map here? How is it we can get our own district? How is it you can have everybody in the world from Haiti, Colombia, Italy, uh, Barbuda, wherever? They have their own district. They have their own place to go and complain. When police harass them, they have solutions. When the kids can't get into high school, they have solutions. What about us? Why are we so marginalized? We are thriving people. We need and deserve. So you got to stand up. And the most important is to testify this evening, today after 2 o'clock, like my brother Fayou said. That is where it comes. That is where it comes. There's an independent district commission set up. It's 10 people. And these people are supposed to listen to us. They're very learned people. They have maps. They have demographics. They will see that this community that divided in four has a common uh, population, common heritage, common customs. And therefore, that community has to be drawn in the way it is. And we're not asking for a gerrymandered district. This is the most compact district. This is a virtual square. This is a district nobody can find problem with, unless you don't have a conscience, unless you're out to suppress people. And that is why I draw it a little bit, so you can catch the map. Yeah, come on a little bit more. Correct. Sorry, thank you very much for that. And therefore, we have this. So what we're asking for is we defer redistricting as a community of interest, unite Richmond Hill, Ozone Park, and South Oslo Park, from the Van Wyck to Woodhaven to the Belt to the Parkway and to a uh, hillside. It's very simple. You have common stores, you have West Indian groceries, you have common religions here, you have uh, uh, Hindus, Muslims, all of us, and Christians, all of us, Catholics, all of us live side by side. All of us are Jews, all of us support each other. All of us are members of this community. All of us have mutual respect. And there's a lot of hate crimes that happen here. So we need representation. We need to work to have more community policing. And that can only happen if, come on a little bit more, yeah. Yeah, that can only happen if they do the right thing and cut us a fair district. And that is what we want, to have a common neighborhood. Stop dividing us. Stop marginalizing us. Stop making us second class citizens of our own country. Stop practicing apartheid in this great land. And um, Fayouz, what, anything else you want to say? No, I think everything has been covered except that if you don't take advantage of the opportunity to testify and have your voice heard, 
it's going to be another decade All right. before this happens again. So don't let this opportunity lose itself and we lose out at the end of it. Take the time to be online this afternoon at 2 o'clock and give your testimony as to the essential need for a holistic, common value district for Richmond Hill, Ozo Park, South Ozo Park, South Richmond Hill. It's needed. Excellent. And that website is uh, nyirc.gov. Take it down, please. nyirc.gov. nyirc.gov. This is a governmental website. This is coming from the highest levels of power. Wanted to help us. Wanted to make us better. Wanted to give us resources. Take advantage of it. That's what we pay taxes for. To have our rights respected. To have our freedoms uh, kept alive. So, Josh, what else do you have to say? I know you just came. Yeah. Well, it's, it's fair and we just need representation and we need the one district to unite with the people that... All four that's not up here, yes. They are still one because this is where the Guyanese, West Indian, the Asian people spend their money and they right. need someone to represent their own people to represent them because without this we've been struggling 40 years we get a lot of harassment police brutality and, and marginalized so at this point if we have our own representation somebody from the community could re to reflect what what transpired and what goes on in this community to be a voice for the yes community. they need somebody to speak up their own you know it's brother been too Kush long time. Yeah. brother kushiel any closer remarks sir I don't know, not really. I just would like to endorse what the other brothers have said and what you have said. Uh, we all live in this community. We all have a stake in it and have family and so on. Mr. Danisar Singh, please go ahead, sir. Oftentimes, here in this community, we have been taken advantage over That's by correct. policing. That's right. Policing has been trampling upon us. That's right. Even if we touch a line that we rightfully ought to touch, the police would trample on us and don't give us the opportunity for our way to go through. As Lord, I am opening these words that our way will go through and they will join with us from all over the world. So everybody will promote the idea, what we stand for. And these are my closing remarks at this time. One district. One district. What do we want? 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 One district. One district. One district. That's what we want. And you can close off, Mrs. Kusial. Well, I do support and having the one district. Okay. So let's stand together. You can take us here. We'll finish with a chant. Um, what do we want? One, one district. district. What do we want? One, one district. district. What is our district's name? Little Guyana. Little what Guyana. is our district's Guyana. name? Little, Little Guyana. Guyana. What's our district's name? Little, Little Guyana. Guyana. I'm going to say democracy now. What do we want? Democracy. democracy. What do we want? Democracy. 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 Let me say justice now. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? Justice. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. now. When do we want it? Now. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. justice. When do we want it? Now. now. So thank you very much, brothers and sisters. Please go online, nycirc.gov. Stop sitting on the fence. Democracy is not a spectator force. Uh, support. You've got to be involved. You've got to participate. You pay taxes. Trust me. If you didn't pay your taxes, they'll throw you out your house. If you don't pay your mortgage, they'll kick you on the street. Stand up and be counted. Don't be afraid. This is America. This is not Guyana. People track me or there are other parts of the world we left from and came here. This is where our rights are. If we don't speak up, we won't get anything. We have to stand together and we have to fight. And thank you, God bless all of you for coming out. And um, we actually came here today, and then we heard the meeting had been changed. No one told us, and they had it somewhere in Liberty Avenue on the second floor in the back office. I went to Kelowan and um, John Albert. They didn't at least tell us before, and then we came here. But we stand united, we stand together. There was a miscommunication. We're hoping going forward. I apologize to any of you who came and had to leave because you didn't find us here. We went there and the place was crowded. I don't know why they wouldn't keep it on the sidewalk. They would keep it in a back room in some unknown office. However, we stand together. The cause is bigger than us. We'll continue to fight. We'll continue to join hands with every progressive force in this community who wants justice and who wants a common district. So brothers and sisters, we apologize if you came here and you didn't find us. But we'll be continuing this process. Stay tuned on Facebook and on Kalal Chief Kalamu Khan. Kalamu, you're a great man. Thank you very much for covering us. Thank you very much for videotaping this. He has his own channel. Canal Chief. You can't forget that. <laughs> Kala, Canal Chief. Kalamu Khan. That's the man. Thank you very much, brother. And God bless you all. Well, brother Dallas, I will close with a little prayer now. The words 
are infinite. The prayer is, we, the people, will stand for our rights, unite our communities, and be free from police hypocrisy, from being taken advantage over. And you, the people, are not getting the benefit of this perfect, audacious life which is meant for you to enjoy. Therefore, stand with us all and let us be able to join our hands together, put our forces, and make our life work for us. These are my final words. And I want to say that all of the unlimited goodness which God is, go within you, before you, above you, beneath you, behind you, around you, straightening the crooked places, and make your way beautiful, smooth, and community here in our community. Amen. Thank God. Amen. God bless Amen. you. And hence, brothers and sisters, salam alaikum to our Muslim brothers and sisters, um, namaste to our Hindu brothers, to our Jewish brothers, shalom, and to everyone else. All of us stand together. All of us enjoy the freedom of religious worship and of conviction. We respect that deeply. This is a multi-ethnic, multi-racial community, multi-religious. We stand together in unity. We stand together for a better cause. And we stand together for a common cause. Lower it a bit, please. And hence, just get us there, please. And we stand on behalf of the people. And we stand on behalf to ask for a better life so that we can stand united and have a better life in this community and be included. A better life and to have our dreams uh, that uh, uh, to realize and continue to build and to enjoy the greatness of America as proud American patriots. We are cheer and die and fight for America. Thank you very much and please stand with this cause and God bless you all. Alright, you can turn it off now.